So funny little story, uh, when I first started YouTube, I was comparing uh, washer pumps on different makes and models and how some are more expensive and cheaper and how the cheaper brands just flip polarities to reverse something and I had so many angry people in the comments arguing with me, not understanding how electricity works or motors, motors work, so uh, today's going to be a good demonstration on how just flipping the positive and the negative can reverse a motor. Still up... Still to this day, I am blown away. People messaged me in the my email and were like threatening me over it, like like I was pro. Oh man, just too much, too much. Let's get into this. So here's a short list of what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 12 volt power source, but you know what? Don't don't panic. Don't buy a battery. The vehicle you're working on has one. Pop the hood and use that. So if you're not a professional, you're gonna need jumper wires, and because you're supplying direct power from the battery you're going to want it fused because uh, if you join these two wires together and it's not fused you're going to have a spark show so I, I strongly recommend if you're doing this a fused power source so for me on the other hand i am more of a professional i have a power probe i'd put this right to the battery comes with its own ground on the end and i would just change the polarities for what i want to do but not everybody has a, a power probe or a DC power supply. So this is what I think most people watching this video are going to be using. So let's get into it. All right. So I've gone to remove this caliper to make it a little more easier for demonstration purposes. You do not have to do that. I, I strongly recommend you keep it in the car. So anyways, this one's pretty simple. Two wires. Doesn't matter which one you supply power or positive to. But when you first hook this up, we're going to talk about that. You want to see where this is moving, if it moves. Um, so all this basically does is turn this motor which turns a set of gears and moves a plunger on the inside. The plunger is completely separate to this. This can spin independently. That plunger just keeps it at a certain spot so it can't be retracted. So what you're doing is when we're supplying power, you're moving that spline plunger back and that allows you to compress this. So let's go and test that. So I've gone and hooked my power probe up to it and we're gonna supply some voltage. So I think we got it the first way on the first shot. I'm just gonna go until it stops. And it's starting to slow down. Nope, wrong way, it moved out. Okay, so let's flip the polarity. So I just stood it up to make it a little more easier. Here we go. Now that I flipped the polarity, oh. Let's try that again. Now that I flipped the polarity, I'm just gonna go until this stops. Should take a few seconds because it's very, very highly geared. There, it's done. It's all the way back. 